Buhari extra judicially killing deviant Nigerians and sending them to God to answer for their crimes. Aid Femi Additional. What? Before we even get into this news, this was the same man that called his president a bully and says that um that he would he would whip quote whip Nigerians into line because he has dictatorial tendencies. Just saying. Presidential spokesman of Mr. Femi Additional says Buhari has embarked on instant execution of deviant Nigerians, including separatist agitators. He added that the country is facing difficult security challenges and that the president has commanded those behind the crisis are being sent to God to answer for their crimes. Then what does that mean? These cryptic messages. Are you trying to say that he's going to kill them? What is going on? Additional stated this on Thursday while criticizing the PDP on his Facebook post titled Speaking to PDP in the language... It understands the presidential media aides suspected criminals and other Nigerians considered as nuisances to the state without remedy to the rule of law should be ruthlessly dealt with as he accused the main opposition of our opposition party of seeking to benefit from the nationwide pandemonium occasioned by the current deterioration of insecurity. While justifying President Buhari's threat of genocidal violence, Thank you. Additional affirmed that the president's comment was directed at all criminals in a country, not just those of Igbo extraction provoking trouble in the southeast and south south. Hmm. On the first of July, the operatives of the DSS violently invaded and killed two of Sunday Igbo's relatives and destroyed his property. The DSS claimed Mr. Igbo, a Yoruba separationist leader, was planning a violent insurrection. Proof. Exactly. Additional said, President Mamadou Buhari has vexed. Troublers of the nation are in trouble and are being given bloody noses, insurgents, bandits, secessionists, or violent criminals. So you exercising your human rights of self-determination is, is a problem. It means you're causing trouble. Okay. New Chief of Army Staff Farouk Yahya uh, too has said all types of violent deviants are being sent to God to answer for their crimes and the summary judgment would continue till the country is cleaned of vermin. Good. That is a direct reaction to the new language of the president. We have security challenges, very severe ones, no doubt, and those challenges are being frontally confronted with the criminals being sent to God to account mm -hmm. for their crimes. This language, like you shouldn't, you're, you're, you're in the, you're a presidential aide. You cannot be saying things like that because the meaning you give is that the, 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 the president is on a killing spree. You did say your president was a bully who had dictatorial tendencies. I was ready to whip Nigerians into line. I remember those words. So again, it's like, you cannot say things like that. Or maybe him being a representative of the president and being a, an aide, it means Obviously, he's in close contact with him and, of course, would understand the mind of the president. Maybe he's just reflecting to us the kind of person Mr. Buhari actually is. You know? And that's just really it. Um, someone here says, Buhari has criminalized separatist agitation as a criminal offense that requires direct execution without arrest or trial. It did not surprise me. He's a coolist. This is bloody ridiculous. So anyone that doesn't agree with the government is... What the government is doing is criminal. You and the president can go to hell. <laughs> but it's like... Ex because, listen, can we just... Let me, maybe I, um, I have a misunderstood word. Let me just clear what um, extrajudicial is. Extrajudicial means not forming a valid part of regular legal proceedings... Um, and an extrajudicial investigation is delivered without legal authority. So extrajudicial killings is basic, basically killings that are not justified under the law. I don't even, I, does the law even <laughs> allow for you to kill? Maybe, maybe not. I mean, there's death sentences and all that. That's a whole different conversation. But extrajudicial judicial killings from the name itself is wrong because it's extrajudicial. 
So it's like, from that alone, he should not be doing that. So deviant Nigerians, if you're deviant, it means you're straying away from what's expected of you. But then it's like, who are you to tell Nigerians what you're expecting of them? Excuse me. If there's anything, you are being a deviant president because you're not doing what you said you promised you're going to do while you're going to be in office. So I don't understand because then you now say, Buhari extrajudicially killing deviant Nigerians and sending them to God to answer for their crimes. What does that mean? What does that suggest? Going to God, what does that mean? Because as, it, as in normal situation, that means that you basically want to take them out. Another comment here basically says, assuming our votes are counted and there's no rigging of elections, 2023 is going to be a very sweet year. But the reverse is the case. APC members as chairman of INEC, <laughs> IG of police APC, chief of army staff APC, minister for justice APC. Since the next year election has already been rigged. Yeah, with the lawyer not you being INEC committee and then she's part of APC, which has been proving that she's actually, you know, um, been active in politics. We're like, so then how, so basically we are, we should now assume that you would not be biased you know what i mean um yeah man somebody here says mr additional remember that you will not remain in office forever one day you and your cohort will be history take note of that sending them to god to answer for their crimes is that also part of the nigerian law and constitution definitely no and neither does god tell you to do that for him but it's coming as an unjustifiable justification for illegality by presidential aid right uh, someone here says, um, it's a good thing that he accepted the fact that Nigerian government is killing extrajudicially with their bandits. That's the thing, because they, they say these things, because no one is going to hold them, I mean, these are very strong words to say, and because they know no one is going to hold them accountable, they can say these things, which does not make sense. Um, so I'm not like, because you're calling your president a bully, you're saying that the government is, you know, sending people to God, and saying that, uh, the extrajudicial killings are for for deviant nigerians like how are you not setting yourself up but then to them they may not really be they not they may not say this as setting themselves up because of what they say because you know no one's going to hold them accountable and i think it's a whole different issue and it, give, it brings light to the fact that a lot of nigerian a lot of nigerian politicians just say reckless things things they should not be saying that could incite violence that could give the wrong meaning or whatever just because they're in president in whatever state of power and they will not get in trouble for it that's what it is put what you think about this in the comment section below don't forget to like and subscribe